Hey guys, this is Ray with Phone Arena. We're at MWC 2014 and what I'm checking out right now is the Galaxy S5, Samsung's latest Android uh, flagship smartphone and boy is it a great smartphone here. Now let's start uh, taking a look at the design of this thing. First of all, as you can see, it's unmistakably Samsung just by looking at the front of the handset. It has that typical Samsung look, which is uh, fine with us. But on the back side, we do have some new things going on. Uh, there is no soft, uh, no, sorry, there is no fox leather design like on the uh, Note 3 and uh, Note Pro and uh, Tab Pro uh, tablets. Instead, Samsung is going for a new dotted pattern here. Uh, it has a soft uh, matte feeling to it, but it's not the typical uh, soft touch coating, you know. It, it actually feels pretty good to the touch. We do like uh, this uh, material with dotted pattern here. Uh, so on the back, of course, we do have a 16 megapixel camera that will let you uh, change the focus after uh, you have taken a shot. There is an LED flash here with an integrated uh, heart rate uh, monitor sensor, so that's great stuff. Uh, in the home button, we have a fingerprint scanner, but it is of the swipe. Uh, type so uh, in order to unlock your handset you just have to swipe through uh, the fingerprint sensor and you're unlocking it this way so uh, it won't work just by touching as on the iPhone um, 5s. The display on the Galaxy S5 is uh, 5.1 inch actually so it looks like all the rumors were wrong. It's a 5.1 inch display and it has 1080p resolution, thankfully. So this is going to mean better performance and battery life for you uh, instead of it had, uh, you know, the new QHD displays that were rumored. So this is a 1080p display, super AMOLED technology, vibrant, lush colors, you know, probably not the most accurate ones out there but still great viewing angles and you know we do dig this uh, 5.1 inch screen with 1080p uh, resolution in terms of the user interface you can see that samsung is uh, tuning things down here a little bit making things a bit uh, flatter we finally have uh, tap effects you know when you tap on an icon there is something that visually happens actually to let you know that you have uh, actually uh, chosen your application you can see there are some new transitions here on the home screen similar to the main menu of stock android the handset should come with android 4.4 kitkat uh, running out of the box so that's good and the latest version of touch as well uh, we do like it more than the previous version of TouchWiz. We have the new flat icons here, though some uh, UI menus are still, you know, uh, the good old ones. You have this old school, uh, typical Samsung look here, so probably it's going to take another year or so before Samsung revamps its whole user interface. The processor inside the Galaxy S4 is a quad-core one. It has the great CPU. Unfortunately, Samsung wouldn't tell us uh, exactly what model it is, but it's probably a Snapdragon 800. Um, now it's clocked at 2.5 GHz, and everything seems to be running extremely smoothly on this device here, even though it probably isn't running, uh, you know, the exactly the final uh, version of the software. In terms of uh, random access memory or RAM memory, it has two gigs of RAM, so uh, you know things should be running pretty smoothly. And this is Samsung we're talking about, and its handsets have always been speed demons, you know. Uh, now, supposedly, this phone uh, is also supposed to have some breakthrough uh, data speeds here with latest LTE and Wi-Fi um, technologies. So let me load Phone Arena here. Of course, we're using uh, you know some kind of an extended private network here, but you can see the browser at least is uh, very nice. This is the custom Samsung browser. It's very fast. Scrolling is extremely smooth, almost iPhone-like smooth. Double tap, zooming, everything works exactly as it should. 
and Samsung is also touting a new feature called Speed Booster or Download Booster actually, uh, which is supposed to uh, integrate Wi-Fi with LTE technology at the same time and use that for downloading of, uh, you know, large files and things like that. So we should really speed things up, but of course we are going to need some more time to check this uh, guy out in order to report if it's uh, indeed working as advertised. Now the camera here, it's a 16 megapixel one uh, as expected. So 16 megapixel camera with an LED flash on the back side. Uh, it has some new technology that allows you to, to change the focus after you have taken an image, which is pretty neat, uh, kind of what uh, Nokia is doing with its latest cameras. And it also has HDR function uh, in real time, so you can be taking a picture and seeing a live preview of how it would look with or without HDR functionality. As you can see now, I'm turning off HDR and the, uh, of course the handset is exposing this area here, it's the brighter area and the uh, background here uh, becomes pretty dark, but when I turn on the HDR preview function, you can automatically see how even the background is now well exposed. Yeah, it's HDR in real time for you. I'm taking a picture Boy, it's very, very fast, you see, and you can even take uh, burst shots with uh, HDR, so HDR burst mode here is here as well. We have, uh, thankfully, a bit of a simplified user interface here with the camera. Let me bring this back up for you. So the camera modes, a uh, bunch of camera modes here, nothing really spectacular, but you do have the option to add more by installing, installing third-party, uh, you know, apps and uh, add-ons. So the battery inside the Galaxy S5 is a 2800 one and hopefully it will be able to deliver some good battery life. Let me see if I can open this guy for you and uh, just to let you check out the battery of the Galaxy S5. This is how it looks like. Of course, that Samsung, so it's replaceable. There is the SIM card slot over here and uh, somewhere around here should also be a micro SD card slot. So in addition, Samsung also promises a bit better mem uh, you know, uh, memory consumption management, so uh, the handset should last longer with it, with its uh, 2800 battery. And in addition, there is the ultra power saving mode, uh, which is supposed to at least double your battery life. So, you know, you can use that for special purposes. And of course, here is the new settings menu. It's extremely fast and uses all new icons that we've already seen somewhere. Now, sadly, Samsung is uh, reluctant to give out any uh, pricing or release date information, but hopefully this is going to happen soon. So stay tuned to Phone Arena to check that one out.